morning, good evening, family. Um, this is Latoya Love, and I'm back with another video. I am hoping that your day is going swell and well and beautiful. This is the day that the Lord has made, so we shall be glad and rejoice in it. No matter your circumstance or situation, this is the day you are alive and breathing. You shall be jumping for joy. Um, and I just want to say, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Don't forget to like and comment in this video. I'd love to hear you guys' comments. For those of you who are new, yes, I do um, drive at times and do my videos, but I want to assure you that I am safe. I am looking ahead. Um, my camera is like not directly in front of me because you know I won't be able to see, but it's like right here, so you can see. So just so you know, um, I just want to let you know that. I, I just want to get on here really, really quick. It's a very quick word. And just remind you that last shall be first, first shall be last. This is going to resonate with you in your heart. You may be sitting back wondering and looking at other people being blessed. You may be looking at somebody else's channel um, is taking off or you may be looking at whatever the situation and thinking like dang when is it going to be my turn you know why uh -huh, I know you're doing it it's because I've done it but just repent and just be patient with God Father we just ask for patience today Father God we just ask that we just trust your timing right now in Jesus name and we just trust that your word shall come and, your, and whatever you said it shall spring forth and the promise will be fulfilled in due time and due season Everything has a time, a point in time, and a season. Go back and read Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3. Um, but some of us, it is our time. It is our time for restoration. It is our time for surprises. I, you may see God has already been moving in your life because he has been moving in mine. And just remember, our ways are not God's ways. Our ways are not the ways of the Lord. And God will see what you would do with an inch before he get extends it to a mile. Think about it. Holy Spirit, help me speak to your people right now. Father, I apologize. I invite you into this uh, into this video so I can speak to your children so you can get all the glory. God, I give you all the glory and I can give them you instead of me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Oh, gosh. Guys, when I tell you, God is so amazing. He is, if he ain't a mile, why am astounding you each day oh my goodness i've been like i'm so glad i transformed and uh, let go and let god and no matter where you are you may not be as far as i am right now you may still be a baby i believe i'm a toddler you still may be a baby but i know i've grown but guess what don't compare yourself with nobody don't worry about everybody else because you shall too have your time. And yes, for the chosen ones, yes, I know you feel alone. You feel alone right now, I'm alone right now. But we have the living God. But in, in time, your kingdom spouse will come and God has to separate you. He sets you aside, he separates you, the holy. Oh, glory be to God. So if you alone right now, accept it, it's okay. Gotta set you aside and prune you for your destiny, which is so great. So great. So that problem you're doing, there is something that's coming up out of that situation that you were in. I guarantee you need to ask the father, what is it that you want me to learn from this father? There's something that God wants you to learn. I can guarantee you it. There's something he wants you to learn. I promise you it is. And just be patient be patient and and I want to get on here and say get out of your comfort zone you got to take risks just like you took a risk with that man or woman and I'm gonna be real with you you remember when you had sex and you know you wasn't supposed to unprotectedly and you took that risk knowing you could have got AIDS gonorrhea chlamydia AIDS syphilis that's something you couldn't get rid of take risks with the Lord take risks with your life good risks not those type of risks but you took a risk then so i'm here to tell you child of god today yes you are chosen you have been set aside hand 
picked fresh from the from the creator yes no one understands you i know i know chosen child <laughs> i know believe me i know no one gets you they think you're crazy but you're not crazy i'm here to tell you now you're not crazy you are chosen by the most high god people don't understand god Think about when I believe Jesus spit spit and, and had dirt or something and rubbed it on the guy's eyes and he was able to see. That is that's absurd. You would not if I told you to spit on your hand and rub it on your eye, you gonna look at me crazy. I'm not about to do that. That's nasty. I ain't about to spit. But guess what? It happened. It happened because the Bible said it happened. If God said it happened, it happened. So think about it. God's ways are not our ways. He works in mysterious ways. Mysterious ways. So make sure you got your, your, your helmet of salvation. The blessed prayer of righteousness. You got the sword. You got the shield of faith on. Make sure you got it on every day. The full armor. And you need that discernment from the Lord. From the Holy Spirit. You need discernment. So, Father, we ask for discernment right now, today. Yes, Lord. Putting on the full armor of God. Our ways are not God's ways. So, don't think it's counting not strange, but he does strange things. And it be from him. And, and people be like, I don't believe that, Toya. I say, well, I do. I'm different. I'm not like them. You're not like them. So don't worry about it, child of God. You are not alike that. You are chosen. Listen to me. You are chosen. So quit trying to make them understand you. They're not going to understand you. Chosen. You are chosen. It's okay to be alone. I promise you it is. I didn't want to get on here. I didn't expect to be on here seven minutes. But I just want to let somebody know it, it's, it'll be over soon. Believe me. you. And then when it be over, you're going to be happy because guess what? The Lord, ooh, restoration for you, restoration. Don't give up. Keep speaking those affirmations. I'm, a, I'm the head and not the tail. Don't let, don't give the devil no leeway. I'm above and not beneath, a lender and not a borrower. Quit saying you broke. No, you ain't broke. You're a child of God. You're a lender and not a borrower. Ask the Lord to help you manage your money. Google things. I don't be asking people nothing. I get on Google and I Google it. And I got another video for y'all to help manage your money. Tips on um, budgeting and managing your money to keep it money. Guess what? God is so good. Ask God these questions. And you're going to be on YouTube. And it's going to be, you're going to be looking at something else about it, somebody's YouTube channel. And then something's going to say how to invest money. Or six ways to do this and do that with some money. And that's going to be God speaking to you. He's going to send that very person's video to speak to you. So count it not strange. Don't be overlooking things that you're like, oh, no. If your heart, if your eyes set to it, know that it's from the Lord. If you ask for it, he's going to give it to you. He don't want you broke, busted, and disgusted. He want his children happy. You have the inheritance of the kingdom. So I want to encourage somebody today. Don't, you're, you're not alone. You got the kingdom behind you got the kingdom behind you you got access to the kingdom you better call on your father and open up your mouth think about it god said let there be light don't sit there with your mouth closed speak these things out loud each day and cover your family last shall be first so while we sitting here scrolling thinking our page or our, our channel is not going to soar god said everything we touch turns gold we will be successful in everything. Keep saying that. Don't let the devil fool you. I don't care if you got two views. Keep going. Somebody needs to hear that word. See, think about it. God may be thinking, let's see if she gonna, is she doing it for the views? Or he doing it for the views? Or the money? Or are you doing it from your heart to help somebody? The devil had me when I first started. And I had to rebuke it. And I had to repent. Because I knew that my heart was into helping somebody. Not about the views. But see, that's how the devil had got me. But God knew my heart that, that I really want to help people. So I had to repent. As soon as I did it, my channel started soaring. 
but just look at it. God does things for a reason. Pass the test. In the book of Job, he says, God, you test me. You test me every moment. And you examine my heart or something every day. That letting you know that God testing you every moment. So every think of everything as a test and you need to pass it, okay? When God, something, your car may break down or it might not start. And God testing you to see what you're going to do. I remember when my I locked my keys in my car and I started frantic and then the whole series like, calm down, what do you do? I started to pray. When I tell you the man, he said, go and ask the valet and call a locksmith and see how much it costs. I didn't even have a dollar. I only, I only think I had a dollar. And I did that. I mean, I obeyed what he said to do. And the man came and unlocked my car for free. People don't come pop lock cars for free. But see, God does. I obeyed what he said. I went and called and asked him. I said, I'm just checking the price. I didn't, they asked my location. I didn't ask the man to come. He came and opened it for free. Do you hear me? Listen to the voice of God. He may tell you to do some things. He may have told you to do some things and you didn't obey it. Listen to him. Go back to him in prayer. So ask him how to help you to save money. Because see, God will bless you with a little bit of money. And then you just spending it. Because you just spending it. He's not going to bless you with no money because you're not doing the right things. Have you helped one of his children out on the side of the road? Have you helped somebody today? Have you helped them yesterday? Have you helped somebody? That's what God is saying, okay? So I'll be back with another video. I got to get out the car. I just want to let you know that last shall be first. So don't eat. keep doing what God says you do. I don't care where you are right now. Just know if your father said that you're going to be plentiful, look at Job. He had more than enough and you're going to have more than enough. You got it right now. Access what you have. Be thankful for what you got. Don't look at your bank account and let it define you. We might need to go get a second job. We God be waiting for us to take steps. People talk about they want money. I was telling a friend girl the other day about money, but you haven't got a job. That's being lazy. Sometimes God will pull you from your job for you to sit down and sit and spend time with him. But it's time to get, the, you know, if you, you can't just sit around. So we got to be doing something. So I'm here to help you out. Last shall be first. First shall be last. We will be first. When it's, when, when it's our appropriate time. Keep fighting. Keep walking with God. And keep learning everything. You are the student. He is the teacher. And allow him to keep on teaching us. Okay. He loves you. I know this word is going to help somebody today. Because you're sad. You're looking at somebody else's situation. He said don't compare yourself to them. Because guess what? You might see they got some, but they unhappy. You got the Lord, and they don't even have them. So I need you to be praying for them to be having a heart, that God soften their hearts, that they be saved, that they receive salvation. Don't look at other people. Look at that you are chosen, and that's a blessing. So God loves you. I love you. Like this video so others can see it. Don't God says spread the good news, share the good news, like this video. I know if it's inspired you. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. This is Latoya Love, and I'll be back with another video. And I love you with the love of Christ. God bless.